Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will see how to set up SSL VPN on 40 gate firewall to access the 40 gate firewall. So let's get started. I have 40 gate firewall here. Let me show you the interface setting. So the port one is having 192.168.108.170 and the WAN interface port 2 is having 192.168.205.4. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, we will um, go to user and we will, okay, I have already created, I guess, okay. This is the group that I've created for the SSL users and I've associated the admin a user as well to the SSL group. Okay, after that, uh, we will get into the VPN tab and then we will check full access. We are going to use this profile. Okay, and make sure you have your uh, split tunnel enabled. Otherwise, all the traffic from your system will be diverted towards the tunnel, uh, which might create an outage. Okay, so let's get started. So I am listening on to my LAN port. My laptop and my firewall is connected to the router, which gives up with the DHCP IP 192.168.108 subnet. Okay, and then I'm going to use 443 so that it should not um, conflict with my uh, to the box traffic and then allow access from any host. I don't want any restrictions if I'm testing this. And in the beginning, I'm going to test it with 40K, 40 net factory uh, uh, certificate. And then after that, I'm going to use my own certificate. Uh, or uh, you can say that I will generate a CSR from the 40 gate firewall, and then I will use my own um, keys to, you know, uh, sign that certificate so that I can use it in my environment rather than uh, get it signed by a DG cert or some other uh, root C is available and spending the money. I don't want to do it now. I just want to test it. Okay, let it be automatic assignment. And then uh, you have to add the user profile, the group that you want, and then I'm going to give them the full access. Okay. It's pretty simple. Once you do that, you have to create the policy. Okay, I'll name it as a cell VPN. And the incoming, I'm going to choose this interface, which is the SSL VPN interface. And then the out interface, WAN2. The source is going to be all. And the destination, I'm going to uh, use this particular address book, which I have created for uh, the device access, 192.162.5.4, which is my port to uh, IP address, which I've created. I'm going to use it as, and one more thing is in source, you'll have to associate uh, the SSL group, all right? In the service, I'm going to give them all service access, and I don't need any NAT here. So it gives me a notification which says that you are using built-in certificate, which is self-signed certificate. Are you sure you want to connect you? Yes. Okay, right now I have everything in place. Okay, let's get started let's go to the ssl setting 
and then you can see here Okay, um, there is some sort of problem when I'm trying to access this. Let me see. Okay, uh, seems like there's some problem with the certificate. Okay, uh, let's do one thing. Let's try to generate a certificate here. I'm going to sign the certificate. Okay, I'm using OpenSSL. 
I already have my root CA sir generated the keys and the cert uh, this is my root CA and this is my private key so I'm going to use my private key to sign this let's get started x1509 request in Forty K forty K dot C S R C A This is my C S R This is my key. I'm going to use those to sign this and the output certificate is going to be 40k.crt it is supposed to be valid 500 days I'm going to use 506 let's see that okay this is certificate let's import that certificate okay it's done let's get back to our ssl setting and i'm going to use 40 kit let's check this thing out now what okay uh, if in case you are struggling with this i mean I was struggling uh, with the SSL uh, cipher suite error. So what I did is uh, you can go here. You can uh, type in. You can go here and then you can type in colon config this will give you this page accept the risk and then once you do okay so if in case you are struggling with the cypher suite ssl overlap or whatever a cypher suite error you can go ahead and you can change this so what I did was I changed it to um, zero. Okay, this is the fallback limit. It is going to fall back to the lowest and the maximum keep it that way and then change it to zero. Okay, and uh, mind you, this is not recommended because this is a global setting that will be applied across your uh, uh, URLs that you will browse in. Anyways, um, so this is the certificate that I generated and I signed it. You can see here, this was signed by me. And out of some reason, I'm not able to actually let me look into this. Okay, uh, that was because of the cache problem on Mozilla. So what I did is I changed the code here. Um, let me try to do this again. Okay. Okay, let me show you the settings. Uh, yeah, I changed it, and that was because of the 
cash problem, I believe. And uh, I was telling you, if you are facing any issue related to SSL overlap or SSL Cypher Suite mismatch, you can go to this. Okay. And then accept this, write security dot TLS, and then change the list limit fallback limit to zero and minimum version to zero. And it is going to take effect uh, globally. So once you're done with this testing, you can revert back to changes, but then this is not recommended. Okay. So I created a username admin under the SSL. Let me try to, okay. So this is how it looks like. So now I have a SSL connection to the firewall and then now I can use the resources. Uh, let's say I want to tell that to my firewall. You can see here, fail to connect. Um, let's try some other access okay this is going to be the root uh, login and then you can see here I am connected to my firewall using a SSL connection. And uh, the certificate that I'm using here, you can see here. You can see here, this was generated from the firewall CSR and I signed this certificate using my private key and the root CA that I generated on my laptop. So guys, this is how you can use a self-signed certificate or you can generate a CSR and then sign it and then you can use the same on the 40K firewall. Um, if you have any doubt, please write your question in the comment line. And if I know the answer, I will uh, try to answer them. And please do like this video, subscribe to my channel, please support me so that I will come with some more uh, videos related to the security domain and then we can have uh, this going on. All right, guys, please do subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Bye-bye.